Factor by grouping, also known as the AC method. Background by Vlad Studio. Factor using the grouping method. So what I do is I look at my six, which is also the A, and the 10, which is also my C, and I multiply them together. So six times 10 is 60. Now I think of multiples of 60. Well, of course, six times 10, but also two times 30, three times 20, four times 15, and how about five times 12? Okay. Now, my next step is to figure out which of those adds up to the middle number, 19. Okay? So, 6 plus 10 is 16. 2 plus 30 is 32. 3 plus 20 is 23. 4 plus 15 is 19. So, if I have 19x, I could say 4x plus 15x equals 19x. And this is what we're going to use. So what I do next is I just write out 6x squared. I don't change that. But instead of 19x, I'm going to write 4x plus 15x and then have my plus 10 at the end. Now this is where the grouping starts. I look at my first two and I say, well, what's in common with those two? Well, 6 and 4 are even numbers, so I know I can take out a 2. And there's an x in both of them, so I'm going to take out an x. So what happens here is, if you recall from before, we would take 6x squared divided by 2x, which gives you 3x, so that goes here. Then I'm going to take 4x divided by 2x, and that gives me a 2. 3x plus 2. Okay, so now I look at the next two. These guys, the positive 15x plus 10. And once I say, once again I say, well, what's in common? Well, 15 and 10 are multiples of 5, so I know I can take out a 5. They don't both have x's in them, so the 5 is the only thing I can factor out. So then I take 15x divided by 5, which gives me 3x, so that goes here, 3x. Then I take 10 divided by 5, which is 2. So plus 2. Okay. Now I notice that I have a 3x plus 2 and a 3x plus 2. Once again, I'm going to factor that out. So I'm going to have 3x plus 2. Now if I look at this first part, if I take out a 3x plus 2, I'm left with a 2x. When I look at my second part, and I take out a 3x plus 2, I'm left with a 5. And now you've just factored it using the grouping method. But let's check it just to make sure we're right. Okay, just to be clear, this is my answer. And right now we're just going to check it. So I'm going to FOIL. 3x times 2x is 6x squared. 3x times 5 is 15x. 2 times 2x is 4x and 2 times 5 is 10. Now do you notice something in here? 5x plus 4x is exactly what we took out to add to 19x. So when we collect like terms, we end up with 6x squared plus 19x plus 10. Yay! So we know that this is 6x squared plus 19x plus 10 factored. Factor using the grouping method. Well, the first thing I do is I look at my a, which is 8, and my c, which is negative 3, and I multiply them together. So 8 times negative 3 is negative 24. So now I have to think of multiples of negative 24. Well, of course, we have 8 times negative 3, but also negative 8 times a positive 3, 6 times negative 4 negative 6 times a positive 4, 2 times negative 12, and then negative 2 times 12. So now we need to figure out, well, which one of these adds to negative 10? 
So let's see. 8 plus negative 3 is 5. Negative 8 plus 3 is negative 5. 6 plus a negative 4 is 2. Negative 6 plus 4 is a negative 2. 2 plus negative 12. Well, there's our negative 10. And we know that 2x minus 12x gives us our negative 10x. And that's what we're looking for in the middle. So we're going to start by rewriting our expression 8x squared. But now instead of writing minus 10x, we're going to write plus 2x minus 12x and then our 3 at the end, our minus 3. So the grouping says we look at the first two. Well, 8 and 2 are even numbers, so I know I'm going to take out a 2. And they both have an x in them, so I'm going to take out a 2x. So what I'm left with is, now remember, 8x squared divided by 2x is 4x. So I have a 4x here. Then I'm going to take 2x divided by 2x, and that gives me a 1, so plus 1. Now the second part, I'm going to give you a really big hint. Anytime you see a negative sign here or a subtraction sign here, that also goes right here, okay? If it was a positive, there would be a positive. Now I do just like I've been doing. I say, what's in common with negative 12 and negative 3? Well, that would be negative 3. So I'm going to take out a negative 3. Now, negative 12x divided by negative 3 is 4x, okay? And then negative 3 divided by negative 3 is a positive 1. So plus 1. So now when I look at these, I notice that I have a 4x plus 1 and a 4x plus 1. So I'm going to take a, that out, 4x plus 1. Okay. Now if I look at my first part, if I take out 4x plus 1, I'm left with 2x. When I look at my second part, when I take out 4x plus 1, I'm left with a negative 3. And this, right here is your answer. That would be 8x squared minus 10x minus 3 factored. But let's check it just to make sure. So I'm going to FOIL to make sure that I'm right. So 4x times 2x is 8x squared. Then we're going to do our outside. 4x times negative 3 is negative 12x. 1 times 2x is 2x and 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. Now do you see something interesting? That is exactly what we have over here. Remember, negative 12x plus 2x is exactly the same as 2x minus 12x. So when we simplify it, we end up with 8x squared minus 10x minus 3. So I know that this is my answer. I'd like to thank Vlad Studio for this great background. If you need some more practice, go to www.piecrest.com for some great free worksheets with the solutions. Go to www.cafepress.com and look for Piecrust where you can purchase some really cool t-shirts.